have you ever used video calls to communicate with friends and family across time and space? Have you ever shared cool photos and videos using social media? Never before has humanity been surrounded by the communication technologies that we have today. And all of these prepare us to make the best of online learning and the virtual classroom. Hi, I'm Felix Odati Wellington and I teach in the Department of Communication and Languages at CBU. I know you might be apprehensive about participating in the virtual classroom. So why don't you come with me as I outline a few tips to help you participate actively in virtual classes. Whether your class is in real time or recorded, you might have to participate through video calls or recorded video presentations. These are all forms of public communication, something humanity has done since the beginning of time. How you say something matters as much as what you say. So, there are three things to consider. What the audience sees of you or your body language. How you use your voice. And then, the content of what you say. So, starting with a visual channel, let's go through a few tips. The visual channel refers to your body language. There are so many cues that your audience picks from this area, including your mood and the meaning of what you're saying. So make sure that you're able to use hand gestures and give the audience the opportunity to make eye contact with you. Look directly into the camera of your recording device and try not to fidget if you're waiting your turn to speak. If possible, make sure you are in a well-lit environment. And oh, Turning on your camera gives the audience access into your private space. So, a messy bedroom is not exactly the best venue if you are appearing on camera. If the technology allows, choose a background that is not cluttered or distracting. And appearing in your bathrobe is not exactly a good idea. From the visual channel, let's talk about the vocal channel or the use of your voice. Take control by making the mute button your friend. Decide when your audience will hear sounds from your end. And when you speak to your audience, make sure that you are audible, but not too loud. Especially when you and your audience are using headsets. Try not to speak in a monotone. You don't want to bore your audience to death. Take your time to articulate what you're saying so that your audience can hear you clearly. So speak with a measured pace. Not too fast, not too slow, just right. What about the verbal channel? Having talked about the visual and vocal channels, Let's talk about the verbal area, the content or substance of what you're saying. Try to keep it short. The virtual classroom is still a classroom and you can lose the audience if you drone on and on and on and on. Try to keep your interventions polite and whenever possible, connect what you're saying to what another member of the class has said. That way, we keep the conversation and connections going. When listening to another speaker, make notes and you can refer to these when you speak. It also helps to have notes that you can speak from. That way you keep your thoughts organized. And if there is a reading for the class, make notes that you can refer to when you're speaking. In conclusion, Remember, the technology gives you the power and it helps to test your camera and microphone before you go live. Try to get comfortable with the technology ahead of your first class. Some platforms allow you to share your screen or documents. Some allow you to record your presentation. Dedicate enough time learning how the technology works. All of the tips that I've shared may not make you a star on TikTok, but I hope they set you up for success as an active participant in the virtual classroom. All the best in your first virtual class. Take care.